politicians have been encouraged to make peace their number one priority as the country goes to the polls in December. May you experience limitless heights. May there be no limit to how far God would take you this year. May you soar and soar and soar. And that soar was atmosphere and at most churches visited on 31st December. To others, singing and dancing was the other of the night. Lead pastor of the Cedar Mountain Assemblies of God Church, Reverend Stephen Yerison Wingham, called on Ghanaians to live peacefully with one another. Let's put Ghana first. Let's remember, without the peace of Ghana, we cannot pursue our dreams and aspirations. We are pleading with the political parties to play it clean, to focus on their message. The EC must um, do what they must do and ensure that everybody's interest is covered. At the Emmanuel Presby Church in Dansuman, District Minister Akuno Suomintete also called on politicians not to take advantage of the youth. We don't need an insulting language. Insulting people does not amount to. It should be exchange of ideas or sharing ideas. Share your idea. If I embrace it, I'll vote for you. If I don't embrace it and someone else's option is a better option for me, I go for that. For the head pastor at the Temple of Glory Ministries, Apostle Jonathan Bethe called on Christians to obey God and allow him choose his own leader in the Dizima polls. It is my prayer and my advice to the leaders of all political parties in this country, even adding the youth of this country to it, that we must learn how to understand one another. Forgiveness must be our key. And at the International Central Gospel Church Zion Temple at Red Thorpe in Botiano, the head pastor, Unisavia Janssen, also called on Christians to show love to one another.